and on M4 versus M3 versus M2 coming at you. Hey everybody, this is Sunglass Rob from Sport RX, and I'm here with my very good friend Mark from Anon to talk about the differences of the M4 and the M3 and the M2. If you watch this video and you're still not sure which one's the right one for you, pick up the phone, call Sport RX. A real human will pick up the phone every time, no pressing two, and we can actually help you and get you dialed in and even get them in prescription for you if that's what you need. And also, we'd love for you to follow us on the Instagram at Sport RX. All right, Mark. You guys make some amazing goggles. Thank you, Rob. Thanks for having me out here. Oh, yeah. Love you. Uh, there's Magnatech on all of these. Correct. Um, but, you know, the M... And also, this is like in order, right? The M2 came out first. Correct. Then the M3. Yep. You guys have, and then you guys are easy to follow. Pretty And then the M4. Should, if yeah. you've been along with us for the ride, it, we yeah. think it's very simple. Yeah. But again, for those who are new to Anon and really, what is the difference? So that's yeah. what we're here to try and help you understand. If you're not sure which is the right one for you, hopefully this video is going to answer those questions. So that's kind of the point and the goal of what we're doing here. And there are some kind of major differences, Correct. but there's some major similarities. One being they're all amazing goggles. Anon makes, they're, they're, they're just like made with quality. They feel like tanks, like these goggles last a long time. They're just solid made. So that's something I love about all of them. They all have the triple foam, uh, triple layer foam with the last foam um, being moisture wicking. It kind of absorbs everything. You guys have a really cool name for it. It's called Outlast. Outlast, because yes. it outlasts everything else. Um, so there's some really core common things here. And, and the real one is the Magnatech, right? So if you want Magnatech, you want a really easy lens change system. Everyone is synonymous with Anon is the Magnet technology. All of these have it. So then why, is, well, it's the differences. So let's, let's get into that. Right. Rob, I think you really okay. hit the nail on the head. It really is sequential order with when these were launched. So first goggle we launched was the M, well, the second goggle, but the first of our modern Magnatech <laughs> models is the M2. And the M2 is a great goggle. Magnatech, so it is fully magnet retention, very easy for the customer to interchange the lenses throughout the day. All these goggles come with two lenses, so they're always perfectly paired with a sunny lens and a low light lens. So you've got a broad spectrum of VLTs to get you through whatever conditions mm -hmm. you find out there. Nice. But the big difference, so M2 and M3 came out right next to each other, and the big difference between these two is that M2 is a spherical lens. So as you can see, it is the same radius in all directions, mirroring the curvature of the eye, giving you excellent optics, and really giving you a great modern look. Mm -hmm. M3, same exact materials, all the same features that you'd have in there. Big difference is cylindrical lens. So this is a flat lens. It curves in one direction and it gives you kind of that retro low profile look. Optics are the exact same between the two though. And these are great medium to large face goggles. Pair perfectly with an Anon helmet. The colors are designed to merchandise nice. beautifully together. And both these come either with an MFI face mask, which is a magnetic face mask integration. They either come with it or with the ability to integrate with it and you buy it as an aftermarket piece. And the beauty of this system is that we're from Vermont and it gets really cold out there. Yeah. And uh, you know, there's just days where it is so cold you can't ride without a face mask. And trying to tuck it up underneath your goggles, if you have any skin exposed, you're going to get frostbite. It's not fun, it's not fun at all. But MFI also works great. You're out here on the West Coast, you're in Colorado protecting from wind burn just protecting from sun like it is just the best way to protect yourself you and stay comfortable that, you also get that stealth ninja look you do which, you do which is uh, some people aesthetics matter it yeah. ties into our brand uh yeah. anon stands for anonymous yeah so it really ties into that look that we're all about just keeping it clean very stealthy but also performance is super important nice so i want to just highlight one point on the m2 and the m3 there's some kits available in the marketplace where the MFI is included in it and you'll see a $30, why is this one $30 more? It's because the MFI comes with it. You, so you can get it with a kit, but either way it's gonna come with two lenses. Yeah. Some will come with the MFI included, some don't. So if the MFI is not an important factor for you, you don't have to ever buy one. Or if you know you want six of them and you have specific ones that you want, you can buy the base goggle without the MFI and then add the MFIs as you go. The M4, automatically comes with a premium MFI. So this is a more expensive goggle. And one of the reasons why is, uh, depending on what 
versus kit you're looking at, you're automatically getting a super premium, more of a winter version. Correct. Yeah, it, you know, MFI. It, yeah, just it's a lot more features. So this is our mid-weight face mask, which is a very simple tube with a little screen here on the front. Yeah. When you go to the M4 face mask, you get more premium fleece back material and then you have this breathing vent. So it's all about venting as you're breathing in and out. It allows the air to push down away from the goggle. It's just the next level. And so you, it it, you know that the M4 won a Sport RX award for best goggle of 2019. I do know that. And I'm a big fan of this goggle. So let, you, you, can I try and do all the differences? Please, right, let's see if I, I can get it. it. Let's, you can interrupt me. Okay, so always comes with the MFI. Another really cool feature is this goggle you can either get in a toric version or a cylindrical version. So like what we talked about, cylindrical is kind of that old school 80s kind of low profile look. Um, so you can get it in that, or you can get it in Toric. Toric's a newer lens technology that's kind of a hybrid between spherical and um, cylindrical. It has a little bit of curvature um, on the up and down and still has all the curvature left to right. I'm kind of finding it a really good hybrid. A lot of people like the aesthetic and you get the really cool sharp optics. It's kind of cool. No, you know the, the biggest benefit of Toric is that you get the look of a spherical lens but you can make it bigger because uh, this sh is sh curved in all directions. As you start to make a bigger goggle, it starts to cut off and it gets really bulbous. So nice. a toric lens, which you have there in your hand, you yeah. can show the customers what it looks like yeah. is. I'm a big fan. Right here. There's the toric. Yeah. So this is the cylindrical and then here's the toric. And not easy to change. Okay, so that's one difference where these, you either get spherical or cylindrical. This one, when you're buying a kit, you can get toric. Uh, or cylindrical and you're gonna get two lenses and they'll both be of the same category right. So you're gonna get two Torix or two cylindricals, but say down the road You want to get a third lens It doesn't matter what base you have if you got the base with two Torix you can get a third lens cylindrical Kind of cool. Okay, the other thing that I really like about this, especially for me, is that it has a really deep nose pocket. If you've had trouble with goggles putting pressure on your nose, you get a little nasally. If you're having problems with your helmet and your goggle integration and there's just not enough space there and it's pushing down on your nose, this goggle eliminates that problem, which is really cool. And especially if you match it with the Anon goggle, the integration system is seamless but this really helps not get you that nose pressure, which if it's bothering you at sea level in San Diego, when you're trying on goggles, try it at 10,000 feet uh, in cold weather. It's really hard to breathe. So, Brutal, especially um, if you're hiking or yeah. doing anything active. You don't want to mess with that. The other cool thing about this goggle, it has a dual component frame. So if you have a softer plastic, they're really comfortable. If you have a harder, um, plastic, the lenses stay in place better, well, why not have both? So where it needs to be harder on the outside where the lens integrates, it's a little bit of harder plastic, but the plastic closest to the triple layer foam is a little bit softer and conforms to your face. So you just get a really clean, good seal all around without like that rigidity, even though it has the rigidity so the lens stays in place. It's kind of the best of both worlds. It is, it's pretty nice. How did I do that? You, you nailed it, <laughs> check the box. I really like the M4, this is Very like, common. I think it's a winner all around at Sporter X. Everybody's been really excited about this goggle. Um, did we miss anything? That's. I feel like we talked about a we lot. We talked about this. Asian fit? Oh, they all come in Asian fit, so you can get them in Asian fit. And generally what that means is it's gonna be a, a good significant amount of more foam around the nose bridge. If you have a flatter nose bridge or high cheekbones, sometimes you don't get a seal, like you could almost fit your finger in there. So that really helps do that. And then all of these are available in prescription with the Sporter X prescription insert, which you can and should get with an anti-fog coating. And then this fits inside the goggle and eliminates trying to wear glasses inside of goggles and messing up your nice glasses. And um, it's also much, much harder to fog than glasses inside goggles. So uh, endorsed uh, by SportRx and Mark. For sure, no, we're huge fans of that system. Uh, my wife uses it. Uh, several of the people back at Anon utilize it and it is a phenomenal system. It is the only way to wear corrective vision underneath a goggle. So we love Mark. See, uh, if you have any more questions about this, put it down in the comment section. If you're not sure still which one's right for you, call us. Our opticians are all trained on Anon goggles. Uh, we'd love to talk with you. And if this video was helpful uh, and you think we deserve it, give us that thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel. Later.